God wants us to be in good relationship with each other, which is why the enemy tries to bring things between us and divide us. So we're talking about a heart exam for homeschool dads. And so we talked first about H, which was have a heart for God. We're doing an acronym here. H is have a heart for God. E is enjoy your work. Um, Love what you do. Enjoy the work that God has set before you with homeschooling your kids. We're now on A. Let's talk about A, Davis, in the last few minutes that we have. Yes. So on the A, that stands for adore your wife and kids. And each of these has a opposite that is being contrasted with. So the H is to know that love God, to, to have a heart for God, as opposed to thinking God doesn't love you. The E was to enjoy your work as opposed to thinking it's a burden. And this A is to adore your wife and kids as opposed to, I'll say it bluntly, not even liking these people. Um, And all this comes from Malachi. We're we're looking at the book of Malachi. And in chapter 2, verse 13 to 16, uh, the prophet specifically says to love your wife and to guard yourself and specifically to take heed to your spirit. And so it's real easy for us as we go through life, and especially as a homeschool family, when uh, oftentimes a mom will say, wait a second, you mean I'm going to be stuck with these kids all day long and there's one or two strong-willed kids? Um, And as a dad, you might be thinking, oh boy, what are we setting ourselves up for? But even as you are spending more time with, with your wife and kids, we can think that we're going to get at each other's throats and we're actually going to um, not enjoy each other's company. But what there was an interesting th- thing that happened when Rachel and I started homeschooling a long time ago in the fall of 1996, and we had that same concern. And about two months into it, Rachel and I are talking about how it's going, and I said, Rachel, I know our oldest is strong-willed, and we were very concerned about you two spending more time together, but I think you're relationship is actually getting better and you're getting closer and you're understanding how what makes each other tick a little better and and she agreed and so that's what can happen here and so for the guys i want to encourage you to love and adore your wife and kids do not ever get to a place where you think that the problem is your wife or the problem is these kids if it wasn't for all these people my life would be great You got a heart problem if that's what you're thinking. Instead, like it says in Malachi, take heed to your spirit. In other words, look at the speck that, um, don't look at the speck in somebody else's eye when you might have a log in your own. So this one can, like the others, can be very convicting as we really try to say, let me look at the condition of my spiritual heart and how it appears or how it actually is on the inside, not just how it appears on the outside, specifically with my wife and kids. Okay, I'm going to ask a hard question here. I'm going to ask two hard questions. Um, and we're out of time, but I'm going to go a little bit long on this because I, I think this is an important thing to tackle. Talk to the husband who you're, you're telling these husbands to adore and love their wives and kids. Talk to the husband who has a difficult wife. Maybe the wife is just truly, she's just difficult. She is rebellious. She, you know, I, I mean, you and I have seen it. Everybody sees it. You know, there, there are those women around who are just difficult to be married to. So talk to the husband who has a wife like that. Then I want you to talk to the wife whose husband maybe is in that same category that he's just difficult and he doesn't adore her and he doesn't respect her and he doesn't, you know, she feels like he simply just doesn't love her or the kids. How do you encourage those two people? Yeah, th- those are deep, heavy, tough questions right there. I know. Um, and I thank God that, you know, my wife uh, is not in that category. Um, she's very enjoyable to spend time with. We're, we're empty nesters right now and thoroughly enjoying being in the house together all day long. Yeah. Uh, but there are situations where um, people are in a marriage that's a, a little harder because of strong personalities, difficult personalities. Uh, and, and, you know, a lot of times people... Um, have a past that is hard to overcome. They're still struggling and working through some hurt that they've experienced in their own life. And so 
this is where, you know, just like the very first point to love God means to know him, God, and to let God know me, which means I have to be vulnerable. So in the, in the same kind of way, if I had a difficult wife, I would want to know why, what, what's eating at her, what's hurting her now or in the past, so that I can really um, meet her where she's at. Um, and so this is where compassion, understanding, conversations um, that um, really go deeper uh, you know, need to take place. Uh, the better you know somebody, the more you can understand. Yeah, if I if I say the following, that's going to upset her because I know what you know what are the kinds of things yeah. that encourage her and the kind of things that do the opposite. Right, right, yeah. And I guess the same with husbands too. You know, how do you how do you deal? How do these women deal with these um, husbands who are just difficult? You know, they're they're maybe maybe they have anger issues. Maybe they're just not kind to their family members. Maybe they check out and don't want anything to do with their family. Do the hard work mm -hmm. that a relationship requires, whether that's going to see a counselor, whether mm -hmm. that's having the long, hard conversations, having a second and third conversation to process things and to clarify. Uh, relationships are, are not easy and they're not messy, but they're so important uh, and they're so vital. God wants us to be in good relationship with each other, which is why the enemy tries to bring things between us and divide us. And, and it can be outside circumstances that do that. But I, I would just encourage people to be committed to the relationships in their life. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 